Listen to that. Listen to the beautiful sounds of the Keswick Concert Choir. Sorry, this is beautiful. A beautiful way to start our Friday. Uh, hey, everybody, I want you to meet Nick, Nick Stratus. He is the superintendent here at Keswick Christian School. Spelled like Keswick, but the W is silent. I learned that right away. Yeah. Keswick Christian School. Uh, well, t tell me, why is this such a cool school? And tell me a little bit about Keswick. You bet, Charlie. First, let me say it's just a privilege to have you and your crew on our campus. We're always delighted to have visitors come and visit. Uh, what makes Keswick a truly a special place, uh, I would say, is really the people and the mission here. Uh, as you've just seen this morning, the, the amazing talent and ability level of our student body, uh, they just have a heart for people and loving others. Um, you know, we have a wonderful uh, connection and relationship with our parents. It's a partnership, really, and helping them to raise their children in the knowledge and admonition of the Lord, which is truly a special uh, relationship and dynamic. And then what I truly believe is one of the best staff and faculty in the Tampa Bay area. Um, you know, they not only want to challenge our students academically and spiritually, uh, but they truly have a genuine concern and love for every student. And that's what makes Keswick really a special place. The mission over the last 59 years has been really to challenge students both spiritually, academically, challenging their mind and their heart, and really helping them to fall in love with Christ. And what's special for me, you know, being an alumnus and coming back here. Yeah, you went to school here. I did. Now you're the superintendent. <laughs> the Lord has an amazing way of redirecting your path. I was a chemical engineer for several years. The Lord brought me back uh, here in an administrative position. And it's really a special privilege to be able to really create an environment where we uh, allow students to become the next leaders in business, civic, and spiritual communities. Wonderful. And, uh, and, it's, and I want to say it's, it's infant through 12. I mean, it's, it's the, you run the gamut here. Yeah. You know, from the beginning to end. You bet. Of all your the, school, of your, of your primary years. All the way from little babies to 12th grade. Perfect. Yeah. Nice job, man. Nice job. Nice job, choir. Great way to start today. And I just hear the bell ringing. So it means more students on the way. Anna Russell, as we said. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Keswick Christian School, our cool school of the week. And that right there is why I miss kindergarten. It was the last time in our lives it was socially acceptable to sit on the floor and do your work. I miss sitting on the floor. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, there would be a nice little mat. We should have that in the newsroom. Nice little mat. We could just sit on the floor and do our little stories. Absolutely. Yeah. Kitty Kincaid agrees with me. She's a kindergarten teacher. It's probably because you're familiar with sitting on the floor. Nothing wrong with that. I've been there a couple times. Yeah, a couple times or two. Tell me why, uh, why is this a cool school and what's going on these days in kindergarten? From the bottom up, from where I start in kindergarten, um, the foundation is strong. It's a family. These kids love each other. We love them. Um, we have a great foundational phonics program that... Um, we use a multi-sensory approach. We sing, we do arts and crafts, we have snacks, we play games, <laughs> and we develop lifelong loves for learning. That's great. And it, it, the, the emphasis is, is reading, I know, here. Uh, uh -huh. And it, it, it's so important. And it, it, sometimes you forget about the basics. Now we all learned how to read, and it's interesting to watch it happen uh, right here before your eyes. Right. It's why I love this job. Some kids come in just knowing a few letters. Some come in reading, and by the time they leave us, um, they can read on a first to second grade level. And most importantly, they love reading. Yeah, I like how excited they are about it. And we have to show. Speaking of excited, can we show the parents? Look at the parents peeking through the window there. Look, at it's like we're suddenly some sort of aquarium exhibit. <laughs> and the parents don't tap on the glass. It only annoys the parents. Don't tap on the glass at them. But yeah, parents are out there watching the kids on TV. All right, so let's see. We heard from the teachers. We've heard from superintendents. But the real experts of why any school would be cool will be the actual kids that go to that school, and that's you guys, right? What is your name, my dear? Soraya. Soraya, uh, is this a pretty cool school here? Mm-hmm. Why do you think so? Because I get to spend time with my teacher. That's always fun at school, isn't it, spending time with a teacher? Now, do you like reading? Mm-hmm. You read a lot of books? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite book? This one. That one? What's the name of that one? Book Gal. Very nice. Very nice. What's it about? What's the book about? <laughs> what, have I stumped you? You said that was your favorite. What's the book about? It Look, I, I'm guessing it would be about ducks or geese or something. No? Uh, All right, obviously, okay. obviously you, don't, you don't want to give away the ending. I don't blame you. Because they end up making a movie out of it. Because I'm not, let's be honest, I'm not going to read the book. I'm going to go right to the movie. And then if you tell me the ending, it's ruined for me. And it's upsetting. <laughs> Why do you think it's a cool school? Because you get to go on field trips. Oh, that's awesome. Where do you get to go? Where have, where's it been the best field trip? Pumpkin Patch. Pumpkin Patch. That is always fun. Very nice. Uh, who, else, who else wants to tell me why it's such a cool school? Because I don't want to put anybody on the spot. All right, beautiful girl. Why is it a cool school? Because we got, 
we get to go to the treasure box. The tre I keep hearing about this treasure box. Where's the treasure box? Oh, is, everybody knows exactly where it is. So if you're good, you get to go to the treasure box and you get a prize? Yeah. You get four of those and you go to the treasure box. That is awesome. And what, what's in the treasure box? Is it is it cash? No! Oh. Oh. What is it? What's in the treasure box? Toys. Oh, toys. Better than cash. You're kidding me. Why is this such a cool school? Because I teach her. Very nice, because you're a teacher. All right, my last one is my man over here, because nobody's going to say. Why is this such a cool school? Lunch. That's right, my man, lunch. That was always my best subject. Always got A's. All right, there you go. Kindergarten is what you remember it. It's very cute kids learning how to read and telling you exactly what they think. That's what, one thing that makes Keswick Christian School a cool school. Anna Russell? Very nice. Yeah, I'd like to <laughs> learn from the floor, too, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it maybe, be nice? Maybe we could yeah. read the news from the floor. I'd like to see that one. Yeah. Get the, move the desk out of the way. You guys crisscross applesauce. <laughs> I like it. I love it. Thanks, Charlie. Let's head over to Charlie Belcher at our Cool School of the Week. Hey, Charlie, what makes this school so cool? Oh, so many things. So many things. First of all, we're, we're merging art and math because, you know, uh, you need math with art. Uh, and you need art everywhere. So that, that's how those two go together. Uh, we're going to start with art. It's, it's Keswick Christian School. It's our cool school of the week. And uh, this is our, uh, one of the art teachers or the art teacher here? The, I, the high school art teacher. High school art teacher. Yes. And uh, these are all high school art students behind us? Yes, a few junior high and high school. Yes. Uh, so, and I'm seeing some incredible fun stuff. The giant cell phone, the giant razor. I love that. Yes. Uh, these, these bubble wrap people are intriguing. Yes. Uh, they, tell me about what cool things are happening in art these days. Well, we do a lot of work. And right now we're working. Uh, working on the students in AP art. They're ready to put a, a portfolio out for AP and we have larger than life uh, creations in 3D. <laughs> My advanced art students are doing the bubble wrap people so they are you know, portraits of themselves yeah. doing oh, what they right? like to do. Yes. Oh, now I see, I see the glasses and the glasses. Of course that's you hanging out there and my fisherman. All right, well, that's perfect. Well, we're going to move down to math here because you've got quite the math leets and the math students at Keswick Christian. We do. We have excellent students at Keswick Christian. As a matter of fact, we have some math Olympians that recently won a local championship right here. Math Olympians, hands up in the air as we know you are. There we go. And then we have some uh, high school students that won a math league championship, Algebra 1 and Geometry for the state of Florida. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool things happening here math-wise. That's right. Beside me, we have some AP math students that actually study for hours together on Saturday, like six hours on every Six hours of math on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. All right, good for you. You guys are going to go for places. All right, and we're going to end with my man here who's going to some spelling bee. What spelling bee are you going to? ACSI National Spelling Bee. All right, I got a word for you. You ready? It's a word that I can never spell and it drives me nuts. I want you to spell it for me. Live TV, no pressure. Satellite. Satellite. <laughs> S-A-T. <laughs> E-L-L-I-T-E, -L -L -E, satellite. I have no idea, but I'm going to look it up later and see if you're right. I don't know. Was he right? Yeah, you're right! I, I really wouldn't know. But nice job. I hate that word. It always stumps me. Well done. Good luck at the spelling bee. There you go. That is why Keswick Christian is a cool school, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. It's Friday. Make it a good day, Tampa Bay. Charlie Belcher is up next with this week's Cool School, Keswick Christian in St. Pete. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from our Cool School of the Week. It happens to be Keswick Christian School, and they start them out at infants here. Yeah, they got the babies, first grade, kindergarten, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. Well, you get the picture. All the way up to high school from start to finish of their school career here at Keswick Christian School. And I want you to meet some of these people who are multi-generational. They went to school here, and now their kids go to school here. All right, so when did you graduate from Keswick? I graduated in 1984. And now you have your son here. My son Aaron is here. So obviously you think it's a cool school. It's a cool school. Both of our older children graduated from here, and we're glad to have them here. Yeah. That says a lot about a school when you see the multi-generations happening here. When did you, when were you here? Uh, 1998. Very nice. I'm everybody feel old by asking you that question, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then you got your boys here? Absolutely, yep. Met my wife here as well. Oh, good for you. See? You guys think it's a cool school? 
Yep, good answer, good answer. I uh, now I'm not going to ask you when you went here because okay, that's none of my right, business. Right. But you did go here, and now you got your little one here. Yes, I do. So obviously, you think it's a cool school. I absolutely do. Uh, someone on Twitter yesterday said it's a small school with a huge heart, and I thought that was that kind of sums it up. And I tell you what, small school. You listen to them; it's very loud. I think they're hearing us all the way over in Tampa. Uh, another uh, multi-generation here. What, you were here, and then you got your daughter here. Uh, she's a senior this year. This is Sarah. And I'm Congratulations. Here in 1988, I graduated. And obviously, it's you know, parents make a choice to send their kids here. It's not like you're zoned here and you're forced to go here. Uh, you're a senior. Have you gone yeah. through your, the whole your whole career? Yes, yeah, since pre-K four. Now, what is that like when you really get to make friends and bond with them your entire school career? I mean, it's really like you become a family. You really get so close with these people that these are friends that I will have for the rest of my life. And it's Good just, it's been a really great experience. Good for you. And we met our superintendent a little earlier. He, Mr. Mr. Stratus, is also alumni. You were, you were. When did you graduate here? In 1993. 1993. Yeah. It's amazing. And how quick the time goes by. Tell me about it. And now your little one is here. Yeah, it's his birthday. How old are you going to be? Three. Three today. Three. Very right. nice. Can you the camera. Yeah. Hey Look guys. You. Can you say good day, Tampa Bay? Well said. Slightly more articulate than I do. Well done. How about some fist bump? Booyah. There you go. Mr. Stratus, thank you for having us out today. I'm going to give the jazz band one more time to play. And Russell, take another good look at these great kids who make up a very cool school, Keswick Christian School. I hope you have a great Friday, Russell. I'll see you at March of Dimes tomorrow. We're all going to have a good weekend. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice school. That was fun today.